One of the fundamentals that you really need to learn to do is to properly replace the center serving on your bow. Learning to serve a string is going to be something that you take with you forever in archery, whether it's learning to set, serve the end cams, whether it's learning to serve where your cable might be, or in this case, the center serving, which is probably one of the easiest places to practice. So I'm going to walk you through the easy steps of learning to serve and you can easily play this back and learn these steps and I can tell you if you practice it just a few times you're going to be able to do this for the rest of your life. Now one of the things that you're going to need to know is which center serving size you're going to need. Most commonly the .21 is going to be the one that you want possibly the 0.25 if you have a very small string diameter or a 0 0.018. Most of the time the 0 0.021 is the one I most commonly use so you're going to want to have that in a serving jig so that you can make sure you put on a serve with proper tension. But once you have that the first step is going to be simply removing your existing serving and a lot of times if you have a loose end you can simply start to unroll it the opposite direction and it'll actually start to come undone. Otherwise, if it's still tight, you have to be able to safely start a cut at the back of that serving, but you want to be sure not to cut into the string. If you cut into a string or into a strand at all, that's going to be a problem. So you have to cut horizontally and once you get that first strand broke like that, then it's simply a matter of unraveling this center serving. So I'll unravel about one inch at a time and I'll just pull that off. I'll cut that piece and I'll do the same thing. Unroll an inch, back roll, cut it off. One inch, back roll, cut it off. This is typically an easy process. If by chance you've already had tied knocking points or a D loop on your string or on your serving, you may have to remove those first, then the serving last. One of the things that's important as well is knowing where exactly that serving was. So some people like to use a little dab of whiteout or even a silver paint marker to just mark where that serving started and also where it ended. But as a rule of thumb, I like to make sure my center serving always starts at least even with the throat of the grip or slightly lower. And then as you serve up, you're gonna make sure you serve at least two inches at least past where the burger button or arrow rest hole is. If this is stopped too soon, then the pressure, the upward pressure with a small serving above your knock and loop is gonna end up making that slide. So in this case, you can see where this used to be was about even with the rollers. And again, throw to the grip straight up is about where we're gonna start. Now one of the most important parts of learning to serve is understanding the direction of the string. Because you can see here that the string is being twisted clockwise, just like this. With that in mind, we want to serve also in a clockwise fashion. So we're going to have the serving tool underneath and we're going to plan on serving in a clockwise fashion and it's also important because of this to serve from right to left. So we're going to start on the right side. Your tension is adjusted right here on your serving spool and your tension isn't super important just yet. Now what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to lay my jig under my string just like this. And I'm actually going to start by serving around about four times, just like this. And then I'm going to pull all of the slack out of this tail end of the serving. 
And one of the things that you'll notice is I have a long piece of this tail because I want to be able to grab it. And I also want to have the option to be able to completely serve over that tail for the length of the serving. So I'm pulling my slack out and you can see right here, I have four wraps going from right to left and I have the tail end pulled tight. And now I'm going to actually lay this tail end over and you need to make sure your serving jig is not too tight so that as you start this, you don't want this to continue to slide around. So you want to be able to wrap this around that tail a few times, which you can see right in here. I have four wraps with the tail laid over the top, and now I have three wraps with the tail underneath. So I'm going to pull on this tightly to take any leftover slack here on the bottom. And I'm going to lay this tail directly on the top of the string. And I'm going to do my best to pinch down on this string and hold it firmly with my hand. Now I'm going to continue to wrap this serving jig in a clockwise fashion. And you want the tension of this set to where as you're wrapping, it's not spinning the string and unwinding the string or spinning the tail around. Another thing that you look for to know that your serving is the correct tension is you want to look to see that it starts to turn a shiny black. You can see this shiny black. If it looks the color of the actual serving, which is almost zebra striped, then it's probably a little too loose. As you pull it tight, it'll get that black shine all the way through and it's really going to be a perfect serving overall. So I'm going to hold my tail and continue to serve all the way through. And I'm going to serve for a few inches here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a knock before I get to my center area and I'm going to check my fit. You can see that fit is maybe just a little bit tight. It doesn't spin too freely. So in this case, before I get to where my knocking points are going to be tied, because it's a bit tight, I'm actually going to go ahead and safely remove this tail. And it's going to be important that you've served at least two inches before removing that tail. And now I'm going to just continue to serve all the way through. So once you've served a few inches without the tail underneath, now you can actually recheck this knock fit and you can see that it's actually much better. This knock fit comes off easier. It's a much better fit. So we're able to remove the tail and get the knock fit that we're looking for. Now I'm just going to continue to serve all the way up to my desired height, which in this case is just before the top of that top roller guard. Now here's the part that you really have to learn to finish off your serving. You're going to want to loosen your tension slightly on your serving jig so that you can remove some slack off the spool. Make sure you hold good tension on the string and where your serving stopped because you don't want this to back ravel. You want to hold tension the entire time. So you want to pull back, give yourself 
enough slack, maintain proper tension. You're going to lay your hand on top of your serve, of your serving material. You're going to now lay your spool over the top of the string. So your serving material should be on the bottom side of the string here. We're holding it with our hand and we're going to lay this spool on the top of the string because this part here does not have to be served tightly. That's why we're looser. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to serve in towards your center serving for approximately 12 wraps. So I'm going to just, this doesn't have to be tight, but we're going to just count. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now you're going to pull additional slack out and you're going to pull this line towards your center serving just like this. Hold pressure with your finger so that this is tight and you're going to hand wrap your last 12 servings. So what's happening here is as you're pulling tight and wrapping these last 12 for your back wrap, you're actually just undoing what you just did towards the center. So the key there is coming underneath the bottom, laying over the top and serving towards the middle. And that's what allows you to serve and unserve at the same time. Do about two wraps and pull tight. Two wraps and pull tight. This is one of the most important parts of having a good tight center serving that's not going to slide. Two wraps and pull tight. And right here we're at our last wrap. So you can see I'm holding this loop with my finger holding good pressure here and while I have good pressure I'm going to grab my line and I'm going to pull this line through hold your finger on that loop hold your finger on the serving and you're going to pull that through and snug it down and right here you have a perfect 12 wrap back serve you can then cut your excess thread with about a quarter inch left and now you have the perfect amount to burn a knot that is going to prevent this from pulling through so just like that we have a center serve that's a nice black shine. You can see it's perfectly tight, but more importantly, you can also see here that the strands on our string are also still evenly twisted all the way down. If you're not holding your string properly as you're serving, or if your serving spool is just way too tight, what'll happen is you'll see a bunch of twists on the upper side like this, you would see a bunch of twists on the upper side and hardly any twists on the bottom side. And that really will end up having your peep turn over time as those twists balance back through the serving. But this is one of the most pivotal things that you can learn to do. If you have an old bow, one of the best exercises is to take that old bow, set it in your lap, and just practice that center serving for about one inch, back serve, unwrap, pull it through, and then remove that serving. If you do that during a TV commercial for a few times a night, for about a week, you're gonna easily learn the basics of how to serve a bowstring.